my name is Joshua Yosefo. I'm born and raised in South Auckland. Um, so I'm on your way. And th also, thank you for the introduction. Um, wow, I'm just Josh, really. So, um, <laughs> um, yeah. So what I'm about to present to you is Brown Brother. Um, okay. I am brown. Brown like the bark on the palm tree which supports my heritage. Brown like the table of which my family sits and eats upon. Brown like the paper bag containing burgers and fries by which my people consume. Brown like the mud on a rugby field by which my people play. Brown like the coat of the guitar by which my people strum. Brown like the sugar or the crust, the grain or the nut, whatever ingredients you want to use to mix up and around. You see my brother, I am brown. My demographic is high school cleaning ladies, fast food, burger making, factory, box packing, rubbish truck drivers, bus drivers, taxi drivers, sober drivers, and living off the pension joint riders. <laughs> I'm a dropout. I hate science, maths, English, but I love PE, music, dance, and drama. I play rugby. Nah, I'm good at rugby. And if I'm lucky, my future in rugby might be sealed. Not to reveal my flaws in education, which are faulty, because hey, who needs to be able to quote Shakespeare if you can play rugby? I will probably never graduate, and if I do, then I will be the first. Either by myself or with a baby in, or beside me, victim of teen pregnancy with a guy in high school I thought was scucks. <laughs> Which really sucks. Because <laughs> you see, when push came to shove, he couldn't pay the bucks. While I was focusing on this relationship, I was trying to get my NCEA one, two, and three purely on luck. Now I'm stuck in the muck trying to scrub my skin with luck soap. Trying to scrub away the fact that I've added to the brown statistic. While my mother is a gambler and my father is an alcoholic, I will always bring the government and everybody else around me, but never myself, because I am brown. And whenever someone tries to breach my comfort zone or whenever I don't have anything else to say in defense in an argument, I'm just going to say that you're racist, that your words are mockery to my skin tone and my color. Oh, but brown brother, you were doing that the day before Cinderella, or wrote out Sione's reading, and do I have to mention the GC? And now I don't mean to condescend, I mean the shows are great, don't get me wrong. But can anyone explain, will there ever be a time when our representation goes deeper than putting our own people to shame? Will the stereotype of an illiterate, unintelligent Polynesian still be the same? Will it ever change? Or are we still going to sell ourselves short for a few seconds of fame? Are we not capable of an art form that is thought-provoking or seen as a form of intelligence? Or are we still going to keep to our low standards of what we feel is culturally relevant? Not necessarily mocking our foreign traditions, but instead being real about the world that we live in. Like our fight against drugs, or our fight against violence, or our fight against what reasonable force is with our kids. Or how statistically Māori and Pacific Islands is a low academic achieve vis brown brother. Now I'm not saying that we need to forget our culture in order to gain, because we, we, we're all the same. I'm just saying that I'm sick and tired of my people thinking that they belong at the bottom of the food chain, brown brother. Are we not more than an FOB? Immigrants from the islands in search of a J-O-B. Are we not more than I can see? Can we not move mountains from point A to point B? Are we not more than Janus golden teeth? Are we not more than asses to first 15? Are we not more than games at a poker machine? Are we not capable of attaining a bachelor's, a master's, or PhD? Brown brother, look at me. <laughs> you. Can do all things through Christ, Philippines 4, 13. You are more than capable, and I don't say that just to make you feel better. I say that because I know. So the Creator told me to tell you so. You will go places. You will tell stories. So do not feel alone, for your God, your family, and your home will forever be inside the marrow of your bones. So do not fret. Do not regret. Because wherever you go, you take us with you. Brown brother, do not be afraid, be afraid to be the first. The first to graduate, the first to climb, the first prime minister, the first good wife, brown brother. Do not be afraid to be the change. Not a change to skin, not a change of skin tone or color, but change of mindset. From one brown brother to another. <laughs>